hey, hey, everybody, thank you for joining. I'm hoping this is back in sync and everything is looking good. Let me know if, uh, if, uh, how it looks to you guys. Hopefully it's better. Mary, thank you for joining. Uh, hey, 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 there's Steve. Steve. Sounds better and better. Awesome. Let me check it out. We'll just see. Sounds better and better. Oh, yeah, it's not too bad out of sync. That's awesome. All right, so on my normal six or seven seconds, we're good to go. All right, guys, so how is everybody doing tonight? <clears throat> um, Rick Costa is uh, going to be on late, if you guys hadn't, hadn't already seen. Uh, so he's going to be on late, and he asked me to come on early. And uh, my uh, laptop was not playing well, but uh, that's all right. Hey, welcome back, Mary. Hey, Angie, you changed your profile picture. Thank you for inviting followers. Uh, guys, thank you all for inviting followers. And um, if you don't know how to do that, you can press the three dots down there. Three dots. And then um, you can go ahead and just pick... Uh, um, this is on, on Periscope. Three dots and then pick invite and follows and shares and all kinds of stuff there. And, uh, you know, under share broadcast. And to tweet it out, Take a picture, so take the picture, press the power button and your and your regular button, and uh, take a snapshot and share it out on Facebook or on um, uh, uh, Twitter and everything else like that. It's cool. Yeah, do that, and you'll be uh, in the runnings for Super Fandom. Um, also, guys, on um, on over here on Busker, thank you for joining. Uh, we will be uh, looking at. Uh, if you guys share and then also all the hearts if you, get, or you guys give uh, give hearts it goes to points and uh, when we reach to a certain level of points we're going to do a giveaway for you guys too what do you mean super fandom well on uh, periscope if you uh, if you invite follow share interact with the with the chat so that means you, you type stuff in the chat you talk to other people um, you do all that stuff you pump those hearts you do all those things um, and then screenshots and all that other stuff. If you do all that, it, rank, it gets you up in your ranking, right? Any plans for the weekend? Yeah, I have uh, my grandfather's 88th birthday party tomorrow. And then uh, church on Sunday. And then uh, who knows what the rest of the day is going to be like. i got to cut my grass. <laughs> yep, 88 years old. I'm, I'm uh, glad he's still here. So, um, let's see what we got going on. All right. I am Jason Wallace. I'm a believer and follower of Jesus Christ. Have you ever seen an encounter with the Holy Spirit? Uh, have you ever had an encounter with the Holy Spirit? Yeah, I actually have. I felt, um, uh, there's been a couple times when on Rick's broadcast, like you get, uh, um, Hold on a second, I just heard something. I just want to make sure. Um, a couple times on Rick's broadcast that I uh, actually felt, you know, um, felt that, uh, I don't know, it's kind of a feeling. But yeah, I've had that I've been at church a couple times. Um, just at certain times, too. Hey, yes, Yasina. Yasina. <laughs> I've got it written down, so I remember. Um, but, uh, yeah, so there's been some times, yeah, absolutely. In prayer, too, there's been times. Um, I, I don't know. It's hard, hard to describe what it feels like, but uh, it's kind of like an adrenal, adrenaline rush, but not. I, I don't know. It's kind of weird to place it, but um, that's how it feels for me. I don't know how it feels for you, but um, hello, how you doing? Uh, what's that? Chicano. 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 Let's go look up your name real quick. So I'm not just calling it your cattle. David. David Torres. There you are. David Torres. There he is. Yeah, I uh, see. So I don't know how it is for you, but I know I know that it has been uh, a couple times. Lisa is over on um over on uh what you call it there, YouTube. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, so um, all right, so let's get into this. I think I don't know how far where I stopped or where I got started, so I might as well just start over again. I am Jason Wallace. I'm a believer and follower of Jesus Christ. I'm a prayer warrior, an intercessor, a Bible reader. I am a devoted husband and father. I'm a child of God. I'm a new creation in Christ. I am a saint. I'm a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. I am a holy nation. I am redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. I am fearfully and wonderfully made 
and I am a very proud member of the Jesus Did It family. Alright guys, I got a device that is failing me. Hold on a second. I won't be able to read if I don't have any power on this one thing. Um, and so yeah, I'm a very proud member of the Jesus Did It family, so if you guys want to, uh, after the broadcast, go on over to JesusDidIt.org and take a look at that. Um, as soon as that thing loads up, there we go. Um, you go on there after after uh, this broadcast and um, take a look at all the great broadcasters that are there. Also, if you wouldn't mind, uh, take a look at the uh, affirmation sheet. That is the I am statements. Some of those things that I read there are the excuse me are the I am statements, and those are on the download. You can download that paper and print it out. Put it in your Bible, and you can read uh, one every day, and it'll help you uh, help you understand who you are in Jesus Christ. Um, also, there's a scripture thought of the day, and then there's some great broadcasters there in the middle. Uh, so the official Jesus Did It broadcasters, and there's some Jesus Did it swag there too. So if you're in interested in a shirt or a mug or anything like that, uh, definitely take a look at it. Also, there is um, <clears throat> the other broadcasters that we like to watch um, during the day. So um, definitely take a look at the website, www.jesusdidit.org. All right, guys, we're into a new book this time. New book, new book, Ruth. We're into Ruth. So this is some good stuff. We're going to Ruth chapter 1. Naomi loses her husband and sons. In the days when judges ruled, there, were, there was a famine in, in the land. So a man from Bethlehem in Judah together with his wife and two sons, went to live for a while in the country of Moab. The man's name is Eliminek. Eliminek. I always have a hard time with that one. Eliminek. Elimelech. There you go. Elimelech. Get it right, Wallace. His wife's name was Naomi, and uh, the names of the two sons were Malon and Kilon. Kilion? Kilion. Kill I Ion, yes, I'm like this. Killian. They were uh, Ephra Ephraimites from Bethlehem, uh, Judah, and they went to Moab and lived there. Now Elimelech, El 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 Elimelech, sorry, uh, Naomi's husband died, and she was left with her two sons. <clears throat> they married Moabite women, one named Oprah and the other named Ruth. When uh, After they had lived there for about ten years, both Malon and Kilon also died, and Naomi was left without her two sons and her husband. Naomi and Ruth returned to Bethlehem. When Naomi heard in Moab that the Lord had come to the, to the aid of the people by providing food for them, she and her daughters-in-law <coughs> Prepared to return home from there. Sorry. Uh, with her two daughters-in-law, she left the place where she had been living and set out on the road that would take them back to the land of Judah. Then Naomi said to her two daughters-in-law, Go back, each of you, to your mother's homes. May the Lord show you kindness as you have shown kindness to your dead husbands and to me. May the Lord grant each of you the will, I'm sorry, uh, uh, each you will find rest in the home of another husband. Then she kissed them goodbye, and they wept aloud, and she and said to her, uh, We will go back with you to your people. But Naomi said, Return home, my daughters. Why would you come with me? I am going to, I'm going to have, I'm not going to have, I am, <laughs> I am, <laughs> am I going to have uh, any more sons? Who could become your husbands? Return home, my daughters. I am too old, <clears throat> excuse me, I am too old and have, and have, I am too old to have another husband. Even if I thought there was still hope for me, even if I had a husband tonight and gave birth to sons, would you wait until they grew up? Would you remain unmarried 
for them? No, my daughters. It is more it is more bitter for me than, than for you, because the Lord's hand has turned against me. At this they wept al aloud again. Then Oprah kissed her mother and law goodbye, but Ruth clung to her. Look, said Naomi, your sister-in-law is going back to her people and her gods. Go back with her. But Ruth replied, Don't urge me to leave you or to turn back from you. Where you go, I will go, and where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God will be my God. Where you die, I will die. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry. Um, wouldn't be a broadcast if it wasn't one of those, right? Um, where was I? Uh, your God is my God, right? So that's where she was saying that. Where you stay, I will stay. Where people will be here, yes. Um, your people will be my people. Your God will be my God. Where you die, I will die, and there I will be buried. May the Lord deal with deal with me. May the Lord deal with me. I didn't hit it right. Uh, be it ever so severely, even if death separates us, separates you and me. When Naomi realized that Ruth was determined to go with her, she stopped urging her. So the two women went on until they came to Bethlehem. When they arrived in Bethlehem, the whole town was stirred because of them. And the woman exclaimed, Can this be Naomi? Don't call me Naomi, she, she told them. Call me Mara, because the Almighty has made my life very bitter. I went, I, I, I went full, away full, but the Lord has brought me back empty. Why call me Naomi? The Lord has afflicted, has afflicted me. The Almighty has brought misfortune upon me. So Naomi returned from Moab, accompanied by Ruth, the Moabite, her daughter-in-law, arranging or arriving in Bethlehem as the barley harvest was beginning. Whew, there we go. All good. So that was uh, Ruth chapter one. No, not time to go to bed yet there, clock. All right, guys, so how is everybody doing? Let me go back and catch up and see where we're at. And uh, let's see where we're at. If I missed any good comments here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. In Christ Alive, thank you for joining. Fantastic, thanks for joining. Not sure, a couple of new people I haven't seen here before, but thank you for joining. Thank you for all the invites, follows, and shared. All the hearts. I find it interesting that... Uh, a bot will leave me hearts, but that's okay. I'll take the hearts. <laughs> Thanks for all the invites and follows and shares. Wow, there's some very interesting people putting that have joined and left. All right, looks like we had nobody chatting in here, so that's all right. I will take that, and we will uh, we'll uh, we'll move along. All right, so every night we read from the Our Daily Bread. Our Daily Bread is a free publication. You might be able to find it at your church. Um, i be able to find it at your church. Free book. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> it is very, very bad tonight. Um, but thank you for joining and putting up with me. Um, I appreciate you guys. So um, for Friday, August 11th, this is written by uh, Cindy Hess Casper. And um, the title is if only. As we exited the parking lot, my husband slowed the car to wait for a young woman riding her bike. When Tom nodded to indicate she should go first, she smiled and waved and rode on. Moments later, the driver from the parked SUV threw his door open, knocking the young bi bicyclist to the pavement. Her legs bleeding, she cried as she, ex as she examined her bent-up bike. Later, we reflected on the accident. If only we had made her wait. If only the driver had looked before opening his door. If only. Difficulties catch us, catch us up in a cycle of second-guessing ourselves. 
if only I had known my child was was with uh, with with teens who were drinking. If only we had found the cancer earlier. When unexpected trouble comes, we sometimes question the goodness of God. We may even find the despair that Martha and Mary experienced when their brother died. Oh, oh! If uh, if Jesus had only come when he first found out that Lazarus Lazarus was sick, right? So it's very interesting that, like Mary and Martha, we don't always understand why hard things have had why hard things happen to us. But we can rest in the knowledge that God is working out His out His purposes for a greater good. In every circumstance, we can trust the wisdom of our faithful and loving God. Amen. So prayer says, Father, you have carried me through hard circumstances before. Thank you for teaching me to trust your heart of love, even when I don't understand what you are doing in my life. True that. <laughs> Amen. The footnote says, uh, to trust God in the light is nothing but to trust him in the dark. That is faith. That was written by uh, Charles Haddon Spurgeon. Um, today's reading was from John chapter 11, verse 21 through 35, and the key verse was John chapter 11, verse 32. Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. All right, guys, how are, is everybody doing tonight? Um, devotional prayer time. Here we are. We're moving along. I need to hear that today, too, right? Definitely. That was, like, really, really uplifting. So, um, yeah, how's everybody doing tonight? Um, if I, I, maybe I mentioned it, didn't mention it. Uh, Rick Costa will be on a little bit later. Uh, so we figured uh, we would switch bots again, and I would come on early. And he'll come on later. So if you guys have any <clears throat> prayer requests, or praise reports, or anything like that, throw them in the chat stream. Um, if you want to um, send them to me in an email, if you don't want to put them out there in a the chat stream, that is fine. I don't have any problem with that. And, um, you know, we are uh, broadcasting on um, Periscope, uh, Busker, and on YouTube tonight. And I am working on the um, Facebook page. So I know a lot of you guys are very interested in being friends on Facebook and um and uh, just for you know reasons of uh, of uh, keeping my sanity with having you know a lot a lot a lot of friends on Facebook, I, I've uh, wanted to keep a Facebook account to be more of a uh, my close friends and family, right? So um, not that I don't tr treat you guys or trust you guys as friends. It's just uh, yeah, I, I would hope you'd understand. So what I've done is I've created a page. And I'm gonna I'm gonna let it I'm gonna publish it probably this week. And I'll let you guys be able to follow me. And then also, that will also allow me to be able to broadcast on Facebook as well. So I can do the same stream on Facebook, Busker, YouTube, and uh, Periscope all at the same time. Which will be really, really cool. And then I'm working on um, making it part of the software where it will read all the, um, uh, where it will read all the comments from all the streams. And put them all into the stream too. So uh, that's my uh, my next part of it that I'm working on. Hello, Quentin. Thank you for joining. Uh, thank you for coming back. I appreciate that. So we've uh, we've already read our, our reading. We've already read our uh, devotional. And um, we're in our prayer and discussion time, fellowship. So um, if you have uh, any prayer requests or praise reports or you just want to you know, talk about something, we can definitely do that. Um. <clears throat> Um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's been a very, very, very long week, so I'm glad it's Friday, and, um, and uh, the weekend doesn't, doesn't look like it's going to be any, any, uh, any, <laughs> any less, uh, um, you know, I don't know why I say stressful, but any less challenging, how's that, that's a better word to use, um, but that's all right, we'll, uh, we'll deal with the punches as they come, and, uh, we'll walk away gleaming, because we know that Jesus Christ is with us, right? So um, that that's that's really all the all all the hope and and that I need to have, right? Because um, I know that He's there with me, right? No matter what. 
uh, even when I'm feeling down or I'm feeling tired or I'm feeling drawn out and drained, you know, it's um sometimes you just gotta uh, just go with it, right, and understand that he's there. So um, yeah. No prayer request, none at all. <clears throat> That's all right. I was on the scope earlier, and I know the true meaning of Jezebel. Uh, I now know the true meaning of Jezebel. That was interesting. Thing. Yeah, some pretty interesting stuff. Since you start learning stuff like that, you start learning like stuff about Jezebel and all that stuff. Those are those are some those are some spirits. Prayer request, please, not to die. What is it? Please not. Please. Your friend John is suffering from PTSD. Prayers for he finds support. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I think I, I think I understand. So, um, Kim and we're John with PTSD. Um, you wish to have him seek help. Got it. I think that's what I got. All right, and. Uh, yeah, we'll speak to that. I have a friend who has that as well. It's not not easy at all. All right, so Lord Heavenly Father, we just lift up um, we lift up John tonight, Lord, who is suffering from uh, PTSD. Uh, he's Kim's friend, Lord, and she is very concerned with him. Lord, we just ask that um, that uh, that you, um, you you whisper in his ear, Lord, and you let him let him know that you're there, and let him know that. Um, um, you know that that he should be seeking help. He should reach out, and um, and just find someone who can help him work through this, Lord, because uh, because we know that it's not not an easy thing for someone who is uh, suffering through that uh, through that hard time. Lord, we um, we just ask for uh, peace and comfort for him, Lord, and let that let let that pain and and suffering that he's going through, Lord. Actually, ask for 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 healing in that, Lord, because we know that that sometimes is related to some other, um, you know, some other mental mental uh, things that are going on in in this brain, Lord. We just ask that uh, that that be cleared up, Lord. Let uh, let just let let him uh, let him be able to be comforted and in ease and and being able to to make it through things, Lord. We just ask that uh, that um, you know we we speak to any any thoughts of suicide or anything like that, Lord. We just. Uh, we, we, we cast that away and we don't uh, we, we don't wish to see that for our friend John or anybody who's suffering for PTSD Lord we just uh, we lift him up specifically tonight to you Lord and we just ask that you uh, to, that you give him some guidance some comfort and uh, and just uh, give him protection Lord we ask this in the mighty mighty son's name amen Lord we uh, we lift up uh, Darrell Deacon he's a friend of ours Lord uh, he is traveling and he's asking for safety Lord we ask that uh, how come you don't get more busker viewers? You're very comforting. I don't know. I'm just kind of chill, right? You know, um, Lord, we just uh, when we get to this prayer through here, Lord, we ask for safety for him. He was taking his daughter to college, Lord, and uh, we just ask that uh, that the, the road be smooth and uh, the car work well. We ask this in your mighty, mighty Son's name. Amen. Something just made an awfully weird noise. I don't understand what that was all about, but. Uh, very interesting. Yeah, amen and amen. Absolutely. Yeah, I heard that. It's kind of weird. I'm like, what is that? Oh, you know what? Maybe it was because you tweeted on... I don't know. It's so weird. <laughs> I'm like, where did that noise come from? I got nothing plugged in unless it was this phone, which is plugged into the speaker. Wow, so weird. <laughs> so weird. I don't know, I got a lot of stuff going on, so I'm doing some, that might be even a software upgrade, too. There was a software upgrade. Just call me Deacon. Oh, Darrell, you were on there. That's right, Deacon, you're on here. That's right, I'm sorry. I, I didn't even know you were on here, my friend. I was just, uh, I, I had you written down here. I had to make sure I prayed for you. So, yeah, Deacon is on on, on Periscope right now. And, um, and yeah, how, how's it going? Did you, uh, are you driving yet, or? I wasn't able to give hearts when that happened. That's really interesting. What's up? <laughs> um, <clears throat> that's a very interesting handle. Dinosaur saddle. Very interesting. Um, yeah. So, uh, so yeah. Someone asked. Yeah, I don't know what's up with uh, with Busker. 
I guess I just I need to do some more interaction with Busker a little bit more, go into some more people's broadcasts. You know, um, I've been been trying to do that, but uh, some things in my life have been challenging, right? So, uh, five in the morning, you head out. <clears throat> All right, man. We bless some wheels. We make sure that uh, that uh, you guys have a, a safe trip. Uh, we asked, uh, you know, just asking our mighty Lord Jesus Christ to uh, to protect you, my friend. <clears throat> I can't believe the amount of bots that have put. I'd be afraid to put up on to egg drop up on the screen to let you know that how many of the bots have actually given hearts on Periscope. <laughs> um, I go into broadcast and they still do not reciprocate. Yeah, I know. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes I feel it's a little bit clicky. Sometimes, like you gotta be in the right person's broadcast and stuff like that, but. You know what? And I had went into this one one guy's broadcast, and he was like, "Yeah, that's kind of the way it is." You know, he was explaining a lot about how Busker works, and I was like, "Well, that's really interesting." You know, because I really thought that it was a like a little bit better of a community, right? and not that Periscope's bad or nothing, but you know, it was like a little bit more of, of a community, right? Where where it was a little bit more, a little bit tighter. Um, Jesus didn't have clicks. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He had 12, 12 fishers of men with him. That's what he had. He hung out with all the bad people. So, uh, uh, prayers that your wife is recovering well. Absolutely, absolutely. I pray for my wife all every night. Every night I pray for my wife. I pray for my wife. I pray for my children. Um, absolutely. There's not a not a day goes by I don't because uh, I, I know that the prayers get answered. They do. They sometimes they're not quite as fast as you want them to be. But eventually they do get answered. They may not get answered exactly the way that you want them to get answered either. But uh, you might he might reveal to you that uh, that the reason why they didn't get answered in the particular way that you wanted them to. True, I'm bad people. I'm New Yorker. I'm a New Yorker too. I'm from I'm from Buffalo, so um, from New York State. <laughs> if you're um, not from New York City though, uh, I've been there enough. <laughs> I've visited enough. It's a good, it's a nice place to visit. Uh, okay, first time on a broadcast. A really bad spot right now. And you, your faith is waiting. Now my faith is is waiting. I hear you there, Miss Susie. It's, sometimes it's tough. It is tough to to when you are in the worst spots. But you got to remember something, right? And this is the same thing. Like I I um I'm gonna I'm gonna read a I'm gonna read a scripture passage for you because I think you need to hear this, right? How do we pray for your bread? How do we need to pray for your bread? Um, uh, you just need to pray for healing. That's what we need. Just for healing. That will that will cover it over. So guys, if, if you want, here's a here's one that I usually do, right? So uh, you're still on here, Miss Susie Q. Listen, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go into a little bit. We're going to God's word here for a second because um, Jesus revealed a story to us, right? You reveal a story to us that, that really helps people understand and put yourself in, in a place, right? So, um, if you go to uh, Mark chapter uh, chapter 4, verse 35 through 41, uh, this is the one that I usually help, usually t speak to when, when, when I'm trying to help people out. And uh, some people on the broadcast have already heard me say this one, but but this one here, like, this one rocks rocks my, my, my being a lot. Um Hey weirdo, what's up with you? You changed your your uh, yeah yeah. It looks like your your self portrait is looking a lot better there, Justin Smallwood. Not quite sure exactly what is going on there, but it looks better. Um, <laughs> that's babe. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, so here we go. Uh, uh, that's a little inside joke between Justin and I. Justin's a really good friend. Um, uh, so uh, here we go, guys. Um, Jesus calms a storm. And I know you guys have heard this before, right? Repeat the chapter. All right, we're doing Mark chapter 4, verse 33. Or, I'm sorry, verse 35. It's where Jesus calms a storm. And so sometimes people don't don't get this get this right away when they read it. They're like, oh, it's just a, just a passage about, you know, trusting, right? But here's what you want to do. You want to think about this as we're talking about it, right? So Jesus calms a storm. That day... Uh, when when the evening came, he said to his disciples, "Now this is just after they got done doing, you know, doing some um, some stuff, right? They were doing, you know, he said the parable of mustard seed. There's pure parable. He's dropping a whole bunch of parables around, right? And then all of a sudden they go, all right, 
Um, that day, when the evening came, he said to the disciples, Let us go over to the other side. Uh, leaving the crowd behind, they took, they took him along, just as he was, in the boat. There were, there were also other boats with them. A furious squall came up, and the waves broke over the boat, so that it was near it was nearly swamped. That means there was a lot of water in the boat, right? Um, Jesus was was in the stern. Now listen to this, sleeping on a cushion. Okay, he's sleeping. The disciples woke him and said to him, "Teacher, don't you care if we drown?" <laughs> he got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, "Quiet, be still." Then the wind died down, and it, complete, it, it was completely calm. He said to the disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified, and they asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. So think about that. You're in a point right now where maybe, you're, maybe your faith is, is, uh, is, uh, you know, is, is teetering. Uh, but all you have to do is go wake him up. Been in for seven years. That's good. That's good. So sometimes you just gotta go wake him up, right? You know, and and, so, and the waking him up is is getting into his word and it's praying as well. So I don't know where you're at with your prayers, but but it's definitely something that that um, that you just need to you need to let uh, you need a big time. That's right. So yeah. Sometimes just go into it in prayer. I mean, if you got to get yourself into, I mean, there's a lot of people talk about, you know, um, you know, doing some sort of fasting or whatever it may be. You know, maybe there's just something. Maybe you need to separate something, right? The uh, Holy Spirit hasn't come filled me up at least a month and a half now. Yeah. Um, do you go to a church? Do you go to a, a physical church? Because that, um, and do you feel comfortable there? Do you feel like it's home? Do you feel like it's a place where you can be? Because that might be uh that might be a part of it too. And who knows whatever else is going on? Of course you do. Okay. Yeah, but I'm um, just just checking because sometimes a lot of people are hurt. Um, their their spirit gets put is put down, right? So no matter what the storm blows into your life, Jesus can calm the storm with his voice. But you have to wake him up. Right? You need to wake him up. You gotta wake him up inside of you. Right, you got you got to definitely go and um, dig into the word. His word is going to be there, right? I've been going there for five years, and and uh, now I don't understand why I'm having so much trouble. So uh, maybe you're at a point where where you're about ready to break through something, um, or maybe you're being put through a test. You know, um, another thing to think about is, um, you know, if you're feeling like you're in the middle of trials, there might be it might be a point where you're being your your faith is being you're tested, and um, and what you gotta understand is sometimes it feels like God's not there, right? When 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 those times come, and uh, we all have them, um, and accessing Him is sometimes gonna be uh, gonna be interesting. So what you gotta do is, oh my goodness, Tommy Norman is in my broadcast, or not. She just retweeted. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm like, wow, that's cool. Um, uh, so yeah, the um, I think she just left. Hope she comes back. I'd like to talk to her for um, about a minute about that because um, I, I think that um, that if you're going there, you are. If if you're going through uh, if you're going through a, a time when you feel like you're going through like a dry spell. It might be a point where God's putting you through a test. You know, it's the same thing, right? If you're, um, uh, you know, perhaps he told the disciples in the boat something like, you see the, the breaks in? <laughs> Devil tries harder that we know Jesus, absolutely. And, uh, and there, there, you know, there, there's a point there where, where he is just, he is just always, uh, he does not want to see us happy. He does not want to see us uh uh, excel. He doesn't want to see us improve our lives, right? Hey, 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 Bill, how are you doing? Yes, the devil and his minions are hard at work. There's no doubt there. Uh, clouds towards the west. The storm will stop in five minutes. 
Yeah, but that wouldn't be, that wouldn't be trusting, right? You know, that would be the faith. The whole idea is that he was sleeping, right? So he wasn't, wasn't there. And, um, and that we have to, we have to wake him up. Because, you know, like, just like when you're, when you're, uh, when you're in school, right? When you're in school and you're in your middle of a test. You know, the teacher's not sitting there talking to you. He's not telling you what to do, right? In the middle of that test, the teacher's sitting there quietly, waiting and seeing how you do. So they can go and, uh, you know, go through it and, and definitely that. Well, listen, you rock, man. Thank you for <clears throat> thank you for joining. Joshua the Overcomer, thank you for joining. Um, so, yeah, there, there is um, there's a points, points in time where, where it does feel like that. You know, where your blessings, blessings. Um, oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Sometimes it doesn't feel like it, but uh, you know, sometimes it's just, I, I don't know where the words come from sometimes, but uh, I do. I do know where they come from, but sometimes it's just hard to believe it. Um, you know, himself. Uh, then he became a superhero because he loved them so much that he stopped it himself. That's right, you know, and, that, and that's how it is, right? He woke up with just the sound of a voice. The storm stops to say, hey, stop, done. You know, and, and what, what, <laughs> what, the, what were they doing? They were just so worried because they, they were going to drown. And uh, Jesus was sleeping because he knew everything was going to be fine. So sometimes, sometimes we got to take that in account and go, listen, uh, it's out of my control and I don't know exactly what's going on and I don't quite understand why, but I do know this. I do know, hey, faith, hope, love, 77, thanks you for joining. Um, uh, definitely, you know, um, there's been some times like, even this week, it was like uh, some, some points in time this week where I was just like, wow. You know what? I'm I'm gonna give just give it to him, because I can't deal with it. <laughs> I can't. I'm just gonna pray about it and pray about it and pray about it and pray about it. We built up the legends. Jesus was able to stay calm and study the situation. <laughs> I guess so. However you want to look at it, did a similar thing. Yeah. So um. So yeah. Just give it over to him. Pray about it. He, um, pray to him. Let him know your intentions. Let him know that what you're, um, what's going on. He wants to hear from you. He wants to know that, uh, that landing on the Hudson. There you go. If Sully did the same, similar thing. You know, and, that, and that's how, uh, uh, that's how I, I'm, I've been really living my life a lot lately. It's just uh, relying on him. Because I wasn't doing such a good job over myself before, right? And the more and more that I put trust in him, the more and more that um, that uh, stuff just sort of works out. And things just happen. You know, um, and I don't quite know why some things happen, but they do. And I don't take it for good or for bad, right? I need to be able to think. <laughs> cannot panic exactly you shouldn't panic you gotta be able to stop and assess the situation you know and, and sometimes that's what that prayer does right the prayer gets you to stop and think what's going on right because maybe it's it's just something that you just if you just stop and think about it instead of being all rattled about it you know that, that you'll be uh that you'll come out clear mom thinks is half Half is relying on a natural man is worthless if your true reliance comes from above. There you go. Fully rely on God. Frog. F R O F R O G. Fully rely on God. Frog. That's kind of interesting. Uh, I never heard that one before. God is so wonderful in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. He knew he'd never make it to Teterboro Airport. Then he saw the smooth river. Exactly. This, you know, this guy on Busker's talking about about uh, about being calm and being able to to uh, take a situation, and um, and be able to put put 
his brain to it and be able to think about a different way around it. So I didn't write mom, but maybe she wrote me from heaven and she passed away a year ago. Weird. I know it's because it says mom thinks, mom thinks is half, it's just, yeah, I don't know if I can read it back to you. It says mom thinks is half of relying on the natural man is worthless. Our true reliance comes from above. So uh, that's interesting that you wrote that. Didn't write mom, but maybe she wrote from heaven. Yeah, maybe she, maybe. Maybe those words were inspired. You never know. That's very interesting. I didn't write the word mom. I'm telling you, I can take it. Pray until something happens. You gotta push it. You gotta push that prayer. Absolutely. I'll take a snapshot of a keto bill. We can do that. Uh, I didn't write the words mom. You're crazy how, how it sounds crazy but true, but know that she's watching. Absolutely. Absolutely. She's there. Especially if she was a believer. Jesus was able to get the big picture. <laughs> there you go. That's because he had the big picture. Now this is something weird. I got, oh, I think I know what's going on. I'm like, why am I hearing stuff? There we go. That's why. I, my one monitor here has um, sound built into it. And so I have a feeling that that is what's going on. So it doesn't want to open them. There we go. Turn you down. There we go. Now we won't get weird sounds. Something was making some weird noises. I don't know what's going on. She was a believer and told me as a small boy that Christ was in our hearts and now in heaven. Absolutely. We're born with that. We're born with uh, we're born with that in, inside of us. It's part of our being is to uh, is to um, want to worship God. It's, it's in there. It's built into it. Um, he was the big picture. Exactly. Exactly. I knew I was getting derailed on a question there, but yeah. He is the big picture. There you go. Very good correction. I like that one. Um, and, uh, and yes, yes. So, um, and, and we're, it's built into us. We're, uh, whether you're a believer or not, that's the difference is, is whether you're suppressing that belief, right? Or if you're allowing that belief to resonate through you. So that's the difference between a believer and a non-believer, right? But that we still have that it's still in us, it's still in built into us, it's integral to us, wanting to worship our God. Um, and uh, yeah, you're right. He is the big picture. He is living water, absolutely. He cleans and washes us away. Uh, even these bots that come on here, people that are half dressed, not well. Um, you see, it can make every single one of us not, you know clean and new again as long as we uh, turn away from it we believe I was on a broadcast today on my lunch sometimes I'll do um, I'll do like uh, when I'm feeling interesting when it's feeling interesting to me I knew about believing but I never knew about receiving until recently since then faith took off absolutely that's part of my thing too my name is Jason by the way oh you're talking about Justin other Justin um, yeah, amen. That's uh, that's good. Yeah, it wasn't until I started getting on onto Periscope and and um, another live stream that I started really accessing my um, my faith some deeper. I mean, I've been going to church and doing that stuff and reading the Bible, but but coming on here really helped because there is people like Rick Costa and some other people like Becky Sims, prayer warriors, right? People that pray, people that that sing and just, just they just show the love that like. It's just it, it oozes out of them, right? Their 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 love for Jesus just oozes out of them, out of their very being, and um, and I know that I have that in me. It's just um, allowing it to be able to come out. So just seeing other people do it, just like you know, and then you get, and then I got encouraged. You know, we were you know, it's one of those things. I need to read my Bible every day. I need to do it. And then I wanted to, I wanted to read, I wanted to read the Bible from start to finish, but. Uh, but in, you know, it wasn't applying yet, right? So I started reading. I'm like, well, this isn't working out. So that's why we can't. That's why I came on here. 
And then Rick's like, Rick was like, listen, you got to do this every night. You got to do this. It's just re read your Bible every night. And that way you're, you know, that's how you'll be able to do it. I'm like, all right, cool. So he's been a really good mentor for me. Um, you know, as, as well as some other people too. Um, but, you know, I don't get, um, I don't get all wrapped up into a lot of the other broadcasts. So, you know, uh, I've been for years trying to connect with God, like have an encounter, and I feel like I cannot. You know what? Um, sometimes that encounter is uh, is something that we need to um, um, we need to investigate, right? Um, connect to that level. So I didn't have that level of connection. I'll tell you right now. I'll be honest with you. I didn't have that level of connection until I went on my first mission trip two years ago. And then when I saw that, how much love could come out of me towards some people I didn't even know, um, that really kind of changed a lot about how my being is. And that made me a connection, definitely. Yeah, we had dry spells that lasted years. Yeah, we were just talking about that, Bill. That's, uh, that's something that's going through, um, uh, what's her name? I'm sorry. I'm going mess, to mess her, mess her name. I think she left, too. Uh, Miss Susie, Miss Susie, Miss Susie Two Q. She's you know suffering from a dry spell right now, and uh, feels like God's not there all the time. And he's there. I think he's just waiting for for something from you, right? Because uh, a lot of times it has nothing to do with him. <clears throat> it has a lot to do with us and our heart. Our heart. It's usually it's a heart problem, right? We usually have our hearts are, are usually what's what makes things broke, and. Um, you know, that's what it is. That's cool. I gotta figure out what is that. It's like alt something. It's gotta be. You do an alt and a zero code or something. Um, but, uh, yeah, everything happens in God's time. And it may not be, may not be what you, what it looks like to you. But I tell you what, it wasn't, it wasn't until I, I went to, I went on the first missions trip and I was really like, love Christian music, and I love to listen to it all the time, but at church, I cannot lift my hands. It's a struggle. Well, listen, no one says you have to lift your hands, right? Um, worship comes from inside. I don't lift my hands up either, and I'm on I'm on the worship team. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm on the, the guys that stand in the back and, and do all the sound, and so we're in the booth, you know, we're, we're rocking, we're singing, you know, we're, we're, we're all that stuff. The guy next to me's got his hands up in the air, and I, I don't. I just don't know why. I don't. I don't feel led to do that. Just because you don't lift up your hands doesn't mean you're not worshiping, right? Lift them up regardless of how you're feeling. Oh, yeah. Sometimes it's hard, right? Some, I get it. But if you're not feeling led to do that, then why do it? Because then you're not, you know, you're not really worshiping that, right? You're not feeling that. If you're not feeling it. It feels like you're being disobedient. Oh, well, you're listening to man. That's a problem. And that, that that's some of my problem that I have with some churches. Right? It's like you go to my church. They really don't care what you do, um, as long as you don't, uh, you know, you know. There, there's stuff like that. But uh, same way, I make myself lift my hands sometimes, but worship in the other ways. But uh, it's in your heart, right? You know, and um, you can sing however you want to sing, and you can, you know move and shake around the whole place if you want but but really if it's not inside your heart that's where it is you know that, that, that's where the worship is and you just have to access that and that's hard to do um especially for someone like me i used to come from a catholic church so you know worship is not the same but we shouldn't judge the way people worship exactly we're all different that's exactly right there we go boom right we shouldn't judge it we should not judge at all, because however it is, you you it is you do right. You know, some people worship with with their arms up in the air and throwing themselves around, and that and that's fine. Heck, if that's how they feel that they're worshiping their God, then that's how they worship their God. You know, and 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 our God is 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 you know, he's gonna accept it no matter how it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We used to we used to be rebels. We used to go on the on the um. The, the four o'clock Saturday mass. 
because that way we could listen to you. I'm a non-denominational, exactly. Non-denominational. Yep. Um, yeah, we were rebels when, when I was growing up. We, I went to a Catholic church. We were, we go to the, we go to the, that one because it's, uh, it was uh, the band that was playing, you know, which is basically two ladies and acoustic guitars and, and uh, singing songs, you know, singing the same songs they would do on the organ, but it sounded cooler because it was with guitars. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it, it's, uh, you know, I, I didn't have that connection when I was in the Catholic Church, right? No denomination in the body of Christ. Denomination ate of the flesh. Yep. And, and that's why I go to a non-denominational church. Um, I don't, I, I just, I I was led to go to that church, and, and that's where, I, where I'm at. And the people there are great. And they just, um, hey, Rob, thanks for joining. Uh, people are great, and it's, um, you know, they're, they're like a family. They treat you like family, and they help help lead you towards God without uh, without really. Um, um, I wouldn't say I was devout. I went to church. I was a pew sitter. I kept I kept it warm, um, and put my couple dollars in the in the in the tray, and that was it. Um, but I had no connection with God when I was a Catholic. But since since then, you know, so what is non-denominational to you? Well, so um, non-denominational to me means that I don't line up with any particular churches, um, right? I thought your church is Baptist. <laughs> church used to be Baptist a long time ago. Catholic Church has no connection to God. That's not so true. I have I have a couple of friends who are pretty close, and I'm pretty sure she's on here right now. I think I think Liz is on here. Liz is a Catholic. She's very connected to, connected with. Uh, with uh, and she's Catholic and she's very connected with God, and very connected with Jesus and uh, and she knows who uh, who her Lord and Savior is. Um, I know there's a couple other people that that, that are on here. Um, you know I'm not gonna call anybody else out, else out. You know, but I know there's a couple other uh, Catholics that are on here who, who follow along uh, with us on Periscope and um, and 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 I know that I can tell you that that that. Um, it's in your heart, right? And it's definitely not true. It doesn't matter what church you go to, right? Yeah, our church used to be a Baptist church too, but they pulled away. They broke the um, they broke the covenant with them, and and there you go. See, Kim's Catholic too, and and it really is. It, it, it's and some people have a misunderstanding of what Catholic church is, and um, I didn't understand what it was until. So is non-denominational strictly off the Bible? No ties of religious way or system of any kind of thing, right? Exactly. Exactly it. So there, hey there. Yes, we're 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 on the discussion again, Liz, which is fine. Uh, Jesus is my Lord and Savior, absolutely. And um, so yeah, a non-denominational church is this. Um, their their focus is on Jesus completely, right? And their um, um, so their focus is on Jesus completely, and. Their, their, all of their readings, all of their stuff, all they talk about is strictly out of the Bible. Exactly. So everything comes out of the Bible. There is no other doctrine that 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 they go by. Right. There's no other side book that they get the the other readings from or stuff like that. Uh, true church is inside your heart. Yeah. The church is the people. The church is all the people. Um. You're non-denominational, yeah, and that's fine. Listen, and and if that that's what you line up with, that's what a lot of churches are going to now. Because what they found is that is that um, is that they're losing people, because there's certain churches that, that just they they get they they put things around it and and, and kind of worship the Virgin and the saints. Yeah, but that's just how they how they worship. You know, it's hard to uh, hard to describe it. Um, because I wasn't able to be there. Would, would saints be idols? That's a really interesting question. Uh, it's not like they're going and, and they're, they're just asking, you know, um, I don't know how to describe it. And maybe Liz might be able to write it a little bit better than the way I'm going to describe it. But um, I can tell you that that I, I don't think it is. I, I don't think it is that, um, that they would be um, idols, so to speak, right? 
you know, they, they, you can you can access God however you want to, right? And uh, I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that Jesus died for our sins and resurrected on the third day. And that's it. We stop right there. Right? We just stop right there. You know, and 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 th and that's what and that's what uh, what the basis of every uh, of every period exactly. You know, hey Craig, thanks for joining. All that other stuff is just a dormant, right? It's just uh, and, and and this is where some people get they get a little twisted with things, and I get it. I understand. You know, for me, I I, I would rather um have a, you know, a, just a, a, a plain church that has nothing in it, but, but, you know, I grew up around that, and, you know, it's not like they're over there praying to the stone statue, right? They're not that. They honor them, exactly, and, uh, you know, they, they access the God through, uh, through the, the, the way that they honor the, uh, the saints and Mary. I get it, and so, um, uh, the saints and Mary are asked to help us pray. And so they have a different connection, right? And and that's 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 how it is, right? So, um, right. And same thing with me too, Janet. I, I same way. Uh, I, I and I'll be honest with you. I didn't try. Um, the problem is the Vatican institution, not the Catholic people themselves, right? And you know what? And that's what it is. It was an atheist, no church background at all. Interesting. The whole point is the political part, huh? That's interesting. It's the same as asking Jason to pray for us, just as the saints, so different. Wow, that's interesting. If I had a gun, I'd kill myself. I don't, why would you do that, Nigel? It's not worth it. It's not worth killing yourself. All this? Do you have a gun? Of course I got a gun. Of course I got a gun, but I would never let you have it. <laughs> no, it can't be that bad. Listen, you're breathing. You uh, have access to uh, technology, so it can't be that bad, right? <laughs> you know, you're you're able to. Uh, you don't care. I'm so sorry. I'm praying for you. Listen, Jesus loves you. You know, we love you, and um, we are sheep amongst the wolves. Interesting. Yeah, don't think of that stuff. Put yourself in a better spot. Pray for you, absolutely. You want to encounter the love of God? Well, ask Him for it. Ask him for it. He, can, you have to go get it. You have to. It's up to you. He never does. I wonder if there's something that needs to be fixed inside. Um, he's there. Yep. Uh, see, even Michael J over here on Busker says he'll pray for you, Nigel. Listen, you're go we're we're going cross platform now. We're praying. So um, we'll we'll, we'll pray for you. Alrighty. So I will ask, all right? So here's what you want to do. First things first, Nigel. First things first. I would like for you to go to jesusdidit.org, okay? I'd like for you to go to jesusdidit.org. I'm going to pull up the website here in a second so you can go and grab a screenshot of it, all right? I want you to go to jesusdidit.org and see where that red arrow is? Where that red arrow is, I'd like for you to download that paper, okay? Okay? Yeah, you gotta be open, absolutely. So, all right. So you download that paper, print it out, and start at the top, and work your way through it. If you don't have a Bible, download the U version app. It's Y O U version, okay. Or you can go to Bible Gateway, and just follow along with the words there. When you follow along with those words, okay, it will help you access and understand uh, what God wants you or how Jesus um, says you are, who He says you are in the Bible. Right. So once you start speaking life into yourself, once you start start knowing how much God loves you, you will then be able to understand that that uh, that Jesus is there. Right. Oh, guy, Bible, Bible Gateway is awesome. Get the app, guys. If you don't have the app, get it. They have this really cool thing. You gotta check it out. Like one of our one of our Jesus did it broadcasters. How do you be open? Just just be uh, just be obedient. Um, start reading the Word. Start praying to God. Let Him know who your intentions. Let Him know how you are or what you're doing. Um, and that's really what it is. You just gotta let it, and, and, and whatever it is, just tell them, Hey, God, I'm here. And, and this is what I think I need. This is what I need help with. You know, he may not give you that answer right away. He may not even answer you at all. Right. Sometimes the, the un, the, because you don't know what's going on. There might be something else, right. That maybe you may not be answered 
because there's something else going on. Seems like it's not even there for you. See, there's some interesting thing. We've got a couple people that feel that same way, and uh, we just read we just read this uh, we just read this passage. That's from Mark chapter uh, chapter four, verse thirty three, through uh, through uh, forty one. Um, it's about it's about how um, about how they were on on the on the water, and and Jesus was. Uh, um, yeah, you don't want to go early, man. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. There's lots more things in life for you to be able to uh, just love. Right? It was deeply depressed and suicidal for a few years, but uh, newfound faith turned you yeah, turned you around. Absolutely, trust, trust. Um, but going back to the Bible Gateway app, the app is so cool. The app has a thing in there that it has a, it'll read to you, right? So like the U version app's good because it'll read to you, but but but. But this one is really cool because it has um, the Bible Gateway has the dramatized version, so it'll actually read to you in different voices. So, like when it's a woman speaking, it will it will there. I do rap for Jesus, but I'm I'm missed at him. That's interesting. I want to follow you because I'm interested in you, and I'm already following you. Your Holy Ghost fire. There you go, my man. Ah, uh, see. I got you. There it is. See, I got you. All right. So uh, definitely there. I just didn't recognize the the, the screenshot there or the uh, the picture. Um, I don't. Uh, I've got like a ministry. And I made it up, right? That's all right. Listen. Um, as long as you're feeling led by God to do something, right? That might be the reason that He's asked you to do this, and you may not even realize that that you're doing it because of that. And um, something that you have got going on in your life, um, you might be able to help access that and be able to help someone else, right? You know, um, I never thought that uh, that I'd be on Periscope and Busker and, and YouTube, you know, speaking about God and and uh, and just going through um, uh, reading the Bible to be and praying for people and doing all that stuff. Does Jesus endorse booze and weed? That's a pretty interesting question. I'm because I'm high. I wish, yeah. You know what? I'm high on Jesus. That's what I am. We, come on, man. I don't need booze. I don't need weed. I don't need any of that to be love. You know, I, I don't need it. I don't need it. <laughs> I'm high off the Holy Ghost. There you go. Uh, Jesus is against getting drunk or getting high, right? Because why? You ready, guys? Because I am a temple of the Holy Spirit. Okay. Yeah, uh, he drank wine, but he had self-control. See, there's a big difference, right? There's a big difference between drinking some wine and uh, and uh, and getting drunk and making a fool of yourself. <laughs> the devil doesn't have any power over you. He does not. Absolutely. All you gotta do is ask, and and be and just be obedient and listen. And uh, <laughs> exactly right. Exactly, Jer. <laughs> Um, I'm high on life, like Jesus was. Yeah, why not? Why wouldn't you be? You know, uh, there's lots of there's lots of stuff going on. I'd be like, man, why am I? I shouldn't be happy. I shouldn't be comfortable. I shouldn't be. Even sometimes I'm just like complacent, just not like not like. But stuff's going on still. Things are going on. You know, we uh we just have to be able to um to uh. To see that uh, that God is that is that light, right? He's he's the one that's gonna fill us up and be able to make us feel better. And uh, just ask Him for it. He does this for me for some reason. I just want Him to love me. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. You just have to uh, access it. And one way to do that is in prayer, man. If you you know, and sometimes even you gotta break down. You gotta break down. You gotta get there all crying, that nasty face crying. You know what I mean? Like, like you just gotta break yourself down and figure out what is inside that heart, what's going on, right? Because uh, there could be just something there that that is in there that that is um, blocking you from being able to receive what he's telling you, right? There's some rooted problem there that might might need to be fixed, and you might not know what it is, right? And maybe you know you're still holding on to some 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 stuff. You're not allowing allowing uh, God to be able to work through it. You're not fully trusting, right? 
It could be lots of stuff. That uh, that uh, yeah, and you gotta you gotta start working at the peace in your heart. Number one for your health, right? Because if you hold on to all that junk, if you hold on to all that junk, it's just gonna make you sick, right? It's just gonna make you sick. And then when it makes you sick, it's gonna make you even sicker. You know, have cancer, all kinds of nasty stuff. You know, because of because of what? Because you're holding on to it, right? You know, you you got anger there. You you you're mad at your your mom or your dad. You know, you're you're mad at your family. You know, my heart is a hot mess. Yeah, and that and that's really where it is. So we got to work on that. And uh, listen, I'm not I'm nowhere near perfect, right? I know I got lots of stuff to go on. And uh, but uh, letting a lot of that go, right? Really just makes makes it uh, just makes it easier to be able to deal with life. Yeah, some people think that, that it's just hard to, you know, you know, how can you be so calm in the middle of this? Like you, you know, you got, you know, bills back, back pay and all, all kinds of stuff and things going on. And you just, you know, what do you do? You, you push through. You just say, hey, thank you, God, for giving me this day. Thank you for allowing me to be able to, uh, to, to share your word with somebody or my experience, right, or my testimony with somebody. Um, as I tell you what, there's been m many times before that I don't even know why I'm still here. And uh, and how, how I am is just uh, my being. Sometimes I feel like I, I have let go somehow to find myself back to square one. Like I said, sometimes you got to break it down. I know it's hard. It's very hard. Uh, it's very hard. Came to Christ when he was down and out. Yeah, I used to do all these drugs. Yep, yeah, that's a that's a story. That was definitely a story. As you came back to Christ in 2012, so um, crying for your sins. Yep, acid LSD. Yep, absolutely. Well, praise praise God that you uh, that you pulled yourself out. Um, what what I would recommend you do is. I don't know if you know him. Um, his name is uh, Paul Yabara. He's uh, called Set Free Recovery Coach. Uh, ser search him out. Um, he will definitely... What? Listen, Jesus Christ loves you. There's no reason for you to come in here and be talking all nasty. Um, you know, uh, with, with, with stuff like that, you know, it's just... Um, I'm just gonna bless you, man, and, and hope that you uh, that you seek and find Jesus Christ because uh, you need help. Sorry, guys, I had to get rid of that guy. Deep walk in Christ leads us to recovery, process abundantly. Yeah, yeah, I had to block that guy. He was going nowhere fast. You know, there's certain people that come in and they they want to you know be. Uh, I can tell. Certain people I'll leave and let them stay in here, but uh, when they come in with those really bad, he's after you. See? And this is what it is, Nigel. A lot of times it's distractions, right? I've noticed this a lot. Whenever I try to deliver the gospel to somebody, whenever something happens, right, there's always some distraction. There's always something that that uh, pauses the stuff that goes on. And so you got to understand that... that, uh, that you know, we see that. That's just like when I was in the Dominican Republic in the missions trip. Every time that we would deliver the gospel, every time that we do our our, our skit, our, you know, our drama that we would do, um, there would be there would be um, something like you know motorcycle cars or dogs barking or or uh, you know loud trucks you know driving by or dumping you know they're dumping out uh, uh, stones outside you know or the kids are yelling and screaming you know um, just all kinds of stuff there. And um, and he tries very hard to distract people from hearing the good news, and so um, and so we have to be is just be uh, delivering, keep delivering that no matter what. And if uh, if it if it takes a couple times to say it, you do it right. Um, before we age, no, I, I pray before every broadcast. I pray before every broadcast, and I pray after every broadcast. You know because. Um, there's lots of stuff there. I'm going to come across the way here. Hey, listen. I got no problem with that. That's why we're here, man. Because 
what, what it is is you can tell. Uh, I can tell when someone comes in. All right. When uh, are you reading a busker? Um, I've already read the Bible tonight. Um, we actually read an extra verse too. We uh, we read the Bible tonight. We read Ruth chapter one. Uh, so you might want to catch the replay if you want to hear the Bible. And uh, we did our devotional. And now we're just praying for people. What is your Periscope name? Is it the same as it is on Busker? Uh, it's J uh, underscore Jason underscore Wallace. And, um, yeah. We can pray for you. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so uh, I just need some direction from you. Right? So we want to be here. You want to be open. All right. Yeah. Let's do that. Let me write you down here, Nigel. All right, so let's do this. All right. Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you for uh, our friend Nigel tonight. Lord, we know that he is uh, he's working through some issues. He, he's got he's gotten cleaned himself up, Lord. And uh, he, he's he's reached out to you. And he's uh, he's seeking your guidance, Lord. He, uh, we, we know that he is um, He's definitely showing that he wants to be a good person. He wants to be a, a true follower of you, Lord. And we just ask that you, um, you give him a vision or give him a dream tonight, Lord. Let him, let let him see that uh, what his direction should be, or let give him uh, give him um, uh, some thought on what his purpose should be and and, and his ministry that that he may be uh, that he may be working towards. Lord, we just ask that uh, that you give some peace and comfort in him, and uh, and Lord, just let him see. Where he needs to be, or let let him uh, work through any issues that are that are that are holding on to inside of him, Lord. And uh, Lord, if he's not if he's not not accepting that he is saved, Lord, we just ask that uh, that uh, that that he work on that, and that he he know that Jesus Christ is his Lord and Savior, and that uh, there is no other way but to uh, claim it by uh, by his mouth. Lord, so Lord, we just ask this uh, in in your mighty Son's name. Just put some protection around our friend Nigel and give him some direction in his life, Lord. We ask this in your mighty, mighty son's name. Amen. Amen. Shoes and uh, demons attack hardest at night. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I do find that the attacks do happen a lot more at night. You've moved to Periscope. Hey, JR Mastering Studio. Thank you for joining. <laughs> You wanted to come over to some of the nonsense. I appreciate you guys. Hey, listen, I appreciate you too. And uh, you know, definitely come on back. Let us know how things are, man. Um, get into his word. His word will strengthen you. Um, I haven't seen Rick yet. I haven't seen Rick yet. Nigel. Cancel. There he is. Cool. For guidance. In God's presence. All right. All right. Some more comments here, right? I know, right? Um, what I'm doing is uh, um, I am... Uh, trying to work it out in my budget where I can uh, sacrifice the the ten dollars a month for um, for egg drop um, premium and then I'll be able to bring the busker comments and the periscope comments into one stream and then I'll be able to put them into uh, put it in like a, a little chat screen on the on the window here so I'm working on that I really like to do that to bring all the comments into one <clears throat> So that everybody can share, right? So we can bring their following on Periscope too. Thank you, thank you so much, Michael J. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, that would be pretty cool. I'll just kind of bridge the gap, you know, so that way people can see um, each other's comments. Um, it would be uh, definitely helpful, I think, and uh, just a little bit more interaction. I, I just I feel led to um, to 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 you know. Some people say it's it's not good to um, to broadcast across the three different or four different pla or more than one platform because you're not attentive to what's going on. But uh, this is my profile, Michael J. There you go. All right, let me follow you. Let me follow you there. 
There he is. Michael James. There you go. All right, gotcha. And um, yes, memorize that. All right, I love you, man, too. You take it easy. Yeah, start off with John, man. Start off with John. John's like the good book to start with. If you're if you're really you know you, you need you're in a place where you need to work on stuff, I'd go to John first, and then go into Acts because then you'll see what's going on with that, and then really like, you can pick a book like Ephesians or or maybe even Romans. Probably Romans would be the next one. Um, that's kind of the order that I would work it, and then you can go back. You can go you can go around. Thanks, no problem. Thanks for joining. Um, then you can go back into you know, into the other Gospels. Because um, what you want to do is you want to understand really, really closely what, um, what, what happened, right? So, like, from the point of, you know, Jesus' life, you know, through, through to the, you know, to where this whole Paul, Saul, Paul stuff started happening, right? You want to follow that all because, and then Romans, because Romans is like the, like the, I don't know, it's like the, the kick in the butt, right? Like a lot of the stuff is, you know, a lot of that was rebuking them guys too because they were just, you know, they were, they needed some help, right? They needed some guidance. So, you know, God using the, the words through Paul to, uh, to, to show, <clears throat> show a lot of people, right? <laughs> it's a lot of people who, you know, who Jesus is and, and how to act with that word, you know, with his words, right? Uh, I like to order Proverbs, Luke, James, Ecclesiastes, Philippians, Romans. That's a pretty decent look at, at it, too. I wish you could walk around that, you know, and, um, you know, we, we, we have uh, a, a couple people that read the Bible on here, and we're at different places in the Bible, so um, definitely that. And listen, if, if you're not comfortable with, with reading it yourself, right? If you're not, if you're going through some time where you're like, I don't, I, I, when the words that I'm reading, they're not making any sense, um, or you you have problems reading the Bible, um, pick up that, that Bible app, I'm telling you, man, like the, either the Version app or that Bible Gateway app, put that thing on and just, and just put it, put it playing in your, you know, on the, on the side of your bed at night before you go to bed. You know, let the thing just play as long as it can until your phone shuts off, right? And, um, you know, just, just keep doing that. And, and eventually the word will get there, right? And then you'll be like, wow, I've heard this before. Or, wow, like now I can sort of, on the internet is an excellent resource, absolutely. But there's an app now, too. And there's an app for your phone. It's really good. Um, I was like that until I really needed it. Yeah, and, and you know... Then the Bible was really clear. There's no doubt. Like, all of a sudden, it was just like, all of a sudden, I started reading John, and it was like, really not clear. And then, and then all of a sudden, you know, I just got to pray about it, prayed about it, and then the pastor goes, listen, go back, go back and reread it again. And, um, you know, and I was like, oh, and then I read it. <coughs> Sorry. Um, I said reread it again, so I went and reread it, and then I was just like, "Wow, um, yeah, that that Bible app is, or Bible Gateway app is pretty cool." Thank you. Um, it's the problems with living in the country. Yes. Yeah, and it, and it reads. It's got the dramatized version too, so it's not like the the same dude reading the Bible to you at reverse. Da 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 da. da. It's like the dramatized version, so it's like a play almost. So, you know, the women's voice will will be spoke at you in a woman's voice, and the, the man's voice will be done in a man's voice. And we can't speak for God, but I don't think He calls for people to commit suicide. That's right. You know what? I, I'm pretty sure that's pretty clear, right? Because, um, because you know what? Uh, one of the commandments is. You know, and, and I know we don't live in old Old Testament law times, but you know, thou shalt not kill. Exactly. So now, if we were to apply that, right? So if we were to apply that, including yourself, but if we were to apply that, 
if we go to right to the to the to the to the um you know to the greatest commandment right the greatest commandment was what was uh you know love your lord your god with all your heart your mind and your soul right and love your neighbor as yourself so if you love god that's right Right? If you love God, you gotta love yourself. Killing yourself's not loving yourself. <laughs> Definitely that. Alright, where'd it go? Where'd it go? I don't I don't harm sentient beings, right? You, um, don't harm... I'm not sure what that means. Love your neighbor. But don't get caught. <laughs> Let's realize it's not God not loving me. It's not God not loving me. It's me not loving me. Ooh. There you go. That is definite, uh... That is a definite. That was after he came back. So yeah. Uh, that was our old Catholic school joke. I get it. The greatest commandment, right? Is um, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all of your soul and with all of your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. Uh, and the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. So, uh, we gotta love everybody, man. I love everybody. Uh, love is the answer. And, um, and if we, uh, those are having life energy in them. That's an interesting way of looking at it. But please don't discount mental health assistance. Absolutely. Listen, if you're feeling like you're bummed, you know what? That's what God puts people here to be able to help us, right? He he plays it on people's hearts to be able to uh to uh to be able to go to school for that and be able to learn how to help someone, you know, through their through their, their issues. You know, because um you know, sometimes it's just a matter of, you know, someone setting you straight. Sometimes it's really gotta work through it. You know, and, and um and that I was told um hold on a second guys alright um I was told that uh, what was it say? I was told I never felt the Holy Spirit today I was told I had never felt the Holy Spirit today when I questioned speaking in tongues shut down that's very interesting See, I don't know. I, I, uh, all I know is that you don't have to speak at times to be saved. Yeah, no, listen. Listen, there's some different thoughts and thinking on that. And I'm not going to get really, like, all wrapped up into that. It's, that's one thing at, uh, us and Jesus did it. We do is, uh, we, we don't focus in on all of the, uh, the, the churchy things, right? And so, whether you speak in tongues or you, you do or you don't speak in tongues, that is solely up to you and, 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 and your walk. And uh, I've never had the experience of it. Um, listen, uh, Rick Costa has some really good teachings on it. He does explain it every once in a while. He'll go uh, and, and, and speak of it. He's also writing a book about it. Um, I've never experienced it, and I've never never accessed that. So I, I don't know, you know. But uh, some people say that, that, uh, that that's that. But, you know, some people say that it was... Uh, it was uh, you know, it was, uh, you know, how do you want to say it, it was uh, disbanded by Paul. Some people say that, um, that um, you know, that because of certain verses, it's not there anymore. And I, I don't know, like, it's it's the interpretation of the Bible, which is sometimes the, the difficult part, right? And us people, we tend to muck that up. And, uh, but it's an actual language. Not everyone speaks in tongues, that's right. Not everyone has access to it. Even though some people say they have access to everyone has access to it. We don't know, right? 
I don't, I don't know what it's all about. Um, I know that one thing. I like. Why is my phone not charging? There we go. Sorry about that. Um, but is it an actual language? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not sure if they would. Wouldn't it be a gift from God? And we all receive different gifts. That's true. That's true. Yep, distractions. My battery died. Um, it's wish, witchcraft voodoo. See, some people have different feelings about it. Um, it is in the Bible. I know that. And it is a gift. Whether we have access to it or not, we don't know. Um, uh, if, you know, I don't know. That's kind of where I leave it, right? Uh, and, you know, that, that may not be my gift. It may, may not be there, right, for me. But uh, I, don't, I don't weigh that down on, on me. I don't, I don't, I don't let it, I don't let it be uh, all about that. You know, if I don't have it, I don't have it. <laughs> I don't want that gift too, right? You know, it's not that I don't want it. It's a, that if I'm not supposed to have it, I, that's fine. I'm not going to, like, be worried about it. Um, I got more important things to worry about. Like, you know, making sure that I honor my God, right? I follow that, that, that you know, that the greatest commandments. Pentecost and the tongues of fire given to the disciples of Jesus, uh, Jesus' death to speak in every language. I mean, I think we've all we all have now to spread the word to nations in order to lost language, which is not Babylon. Yep. So you know, and and so those things are um, are interesting. So you know, there's some things that you could talk about, right? You could say, well, you know, don't we have people that already speak in those languages to you know, that are already believers and followers, why wouldn't they speak in their language to them? You know, there's lots of different different ways of thinking about it. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, there is some people that, that access the prayer language, right? And that's considered tongues as well. And that's just their, their way that they feel that they talk to God, right? So, uh, is, a, is a Neil Tyson making astronomy accessible to kids? <laughs> You got some interesting ways of writing things. I tell you that, Michael James. Thank you. Um, it was very interesting. Um, uh, definitely interesting. They spoke every language for a season to get out the gospel message, right? And so, yeah, that, that, that's that's what um, that's the way that I, uh, I I I posed that to my my pastor, and and uh, he, he laid it out like that, same way, right? It was because it, it was there for a season, because there was, there was a need to be able to speak in other languages that, that people that um, didn't know the gospel, right? See, and that makes sense. And there's other things, you know, that, that, uh, that some people say that it wasn't taken away. So, if it's still there, maybe it's still there, I don't know. Um, I, th I feel some people may, may be forcing it on themselves as well because they feel obligated because their church is something that they believe in. And and that may be what it is, right? Um, yeah, to each their own. Uh, all I know is that uh, is that uh, my God is is my God and, and uh, I speak to him how how I how I want to speak to him. And that, and that's really what the way it should be. Right Sue Palmer? <laughs> right brother Ray, thank you for joining. Uh, people have told me they faked it so they could fit in. See, and that's not right. Listen, that's just like raising your hands up when you're singing, you know, uh, when you're when you're worshiping. If you're doing it just because everybody else is doing it, and you're not doing it because it's in your heart, then you're you're doing it because everybody else is doing it. You're doing it because of man, not because of God. And sometimes that's one thing we need to be able to do, right? Felt bad about it. Call it false manifest. Yeah, exactly. Is Nigel still on? Um, I'm not sure. I don't see him. But I don't want to touch the screen because last time I did, I like broke something. Yeah, I don't see him on here. Um, 
Yeah, some people say it's all for all show, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. He was concerned. Yeah, I, I think I think we may have helped him out too. I think we might have set him in a little bit good place. I've been noticing him broadcasting a lot lately, so I was gonna reach out to him anyways. Um I'm gonna reach out to him anyways and just uh pray for him. So um he's on my list here too, yeah. PTL. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, but we may not, we may, but we are not here to disqualify it or qualify it, like you said. Yep, exactly. It's not, it's not for me to, not for me to judge whether somebody's supposed to speak in tongues or not supposed to speak in tongues or, or whatever it is, right? That's it. We should always take the apps. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's, we definitely do. Whenever anybody comes in here talking about that, um, we take special care with that. Um, because we, we don't want to, um, yeah, we pray that he finds his peace tonight, absolutely. And uh, we, we definitely, I'll reach out to him. I'm pretty sure I know how to get a hold of him. Um, you know, um, I'll, I'll direct message him on Twitter, and, and we'll seek him out. We'll find him. Yeah, we pray for it. We pray for the person. And um, someone who, who's not, not right, you know, I, I tell him, listen, message me on Facebook, on Twitter, whatever you need to do. You know, let's talk about it. Let's pray about it. Because a lot of times it's just that someone's there. They just need they need somebody to talk to, right? Um, they get text to find out the crisis. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. If somebody wants to reach out that way, you can do it that way. There's lots of resources there. Um, but some people just want someone to talk to. Sometimes that's all they need, right? And and. And with discernment, right, for us to be able to go through it and go, listen, you know, maybe, you know, maybe you need to go get some help, right? You know, like some professional help. I've done that before. Mr. Rick Costa is in the house. Everybody. Yeah, usually that's right. And it's usually they just want to hear it, right? If somebody wants to get a gun and kill themselves. They, they need help immediately. I get you. Some people put these, uh, there are prayer lines to call. Absolutely. But we found out through through other people who have said some stuff about those prayer lines that they don't help sometimes, um, and that's really what it is, right? Right, Andrea. People just want to know someone's there that they care, you know, and 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 that's why a lot of times those people that are are experiencing those suicidal tendencies, right? They'll they'll um they'll they'll reach out to people on Facebook and and on, on here, right? It's not always hyper spiritual stuff, exactly, and so that they won't even call those phone numbers. They won't do any of that stuff because they feel they won't help. So they reach out to people on on Periscope and on, on on Facebook because they can they know that they can have someone that will listen to them, right? Instead of giving them the same run of the mill question and answers, right? And um, taking your own life is never in God's plan. That's right. That is absolutely right, Craig. So. And that's why we'll, we'll stop. We'll pray. That's what, exactly what I did. We were chatting about something else, right? We came in here talking like that. You know, we 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 got we gotta we gotta talk about that right away as soon as it happens, because um, yeah, yeah. Have yep, you been there, right? So yeah, Rick will be going on soon. Rick, we were just kind of holding things up, and we had someone come on who was uh, we needed some serious prayer tonight, so we prayed for him, and um. And it looks like Caleb's on with the worship train. Um, so yeah, I was just hoping to see if he would come back in because he said he would be right back. But um, but yeah, guys, if Rick, if you're ready to go on, you can certainly go on whenever you need to, friend. Um, I have it as well, panicky and depression too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that um that guy. His, his name's Nigel. He might come on your broadcast if he does. Um, Nigel, he's that rapper, the new rapper guy that's been around a little bit. Um, uh, definitely uh, keep him in prayer. His name is Nigel. Nigel McKenzie, twelve. Does handle. So just keep Nigel McKenzie in your prayers tonight, guys. Um, not sure how serious he was, but after after talking to us, I think he, uh, I think he. Uh, he was going to pray, I think, is what he was going to do. Um, just complete training about it. There you go. 
but made it through, we made it through it, praise God, God is healing us and brought us together, absolutely, and that's what we're here for. Alright, so Rick Costa, put up your, uh, yep, put up your emojis, everybody follow Rick Costa, oh, he left, follow Rick Costa guys, he is um, going to be coming on very, very, very soon, and um, follow him and uh, he'll be coming on here, he can take your prayer requests as well. And I think it's Friday night. I think Becky will be on, too, at around 1 a.m. Um, I have not seen her on tonight, but uh, usually she is. Yes, not, yes, Nigel McKenzie. Yep, there's Rick. Uh, give Rick a follow, guys. If you're not following him, follow him. He is uh, going to sing. He's going to you know pray for you. He's going to read a uh, chapter out of the Bible. This is so off subject, but what are bots on here? Uh, I'm not quite sure. So the bots, what they'll do is, this is what I've kind of figured them out to do. What I figured them out to do is, they're just software that runs, that that comes on with with a solicitation, right? So they'll, sol they'll solicit a web page, and so th so that way you can click on it and go to it. So um, that's definitely it. Um, and then and then they uh, and then they they give you a couple hearts every once in a while to make you feel like, or it's just people, right? people that, that are paid to do this, right? They'll just come on, pump a couple hearts every now and then, and that. Um, thank you for joining me. I do appreciate you guys. So I'm going to start winding it down because Rick is on, and I like, I really enjoy <laughs> Rick's broadcast. Um, so guys, uh, definitely, let's, we'll walk out on a prayer, and then we'll go over to Rick's, Rick's place. All right, so Lord, Heavenly Father, we just thank you for today. We thank you for all the friends that came on here tonight, Lord. I thank you for all our new friends that joined us as well. Lord, we specifically pray over our friends, uh, Nigel, tonight, Lord, and, and his thoughts of, uh, of suicide. And, and, uh, and Lord, we just ask for guidance for him and for God's, uh, God's presence to, uh, to be shown to him, Lord. We also prayed for tonight for John for the PTSD that he seeks the help that he uh, truly needs. Uh, Lord, we also, we also raised up to you, Deacon tonight who is uh who is uh, traveling tomorrow morning and has requested uh, safety in your in your mighty son's name so guys we thank you for joining me tonight i thank you for uh allowing me to be able to uh um to pray for you guys um I had one, well almost forgot the amen amen there sorry guys and i uh, thank you for joining me um uh in the um on this journey from genesis to revelation one chapter at a time and i uh, just thank you for spending time with me and being able to um Allowing me to be able to hey hey man what's up and allowing me to be able to read the um, the devotional to you guys and just be able to uh, allow me to be able to pray for you I, I really um me allowing me to be able to pray for you guys is like uh, new periscope but you guys are great I uh, thank you so much I appreciate that yep comforts lie at Nigel and speak like yep yeah but yeah maybe you was before with you can absolutely blessings to you guys too. Get on over to Rick's broadcast. Uh, let him bless you. And uh, guys, just take it easy. We will see you tomorrow. And we'll uh, we'll do this again. We'll do another chapter two of Ruth. And, uh, and another devotional. So guys, take it easy. Have a very nice night. Know that Jesus loves you. Know that I love you. Know that every single member of the Jesus Did It family loves you guys. So take it easy. We'll see you later. And uh, remember, be blessed.